if your LG TV has got a black screen, then in most cases, you have a backlight failure. But you could also have a failure of one of the boards within your TV or just a software gremlin. So in this video, I'm gonna cover all of the fixes from simplest to most complex. And I'm confident that most of you will be able to get your TV fixed after following this. So we'll start with a few quick software fixes as these only take a few minutes of your time and it's just a good idea for, for thoroughness just to run over all of these. So start by power cycling your LG TV. So, so it's a really basic step, but this can often fix black screen issues, particularly if they're caused by software issues or, um, or caused by your TV getting stuck in an update cycle and particularly if you leave your TV plugged in constantly. So first of all, just switch off your TV and unplug it. Then hold down the power button on the TV for at least 15 seconds. Then release the power button, just wait for another um, 30 minutes or so to make sure any residual power is drained from your TV's capacitors. And then plug your TV back in and try switching it on again. If you have any kind of response from your TV, so if the screen lights up or if you see something on the screen and then it flashes off and goes black, then that's a good sign and it's something that, that you can almost certainly fix yourself. Just to be thorough, you should also just try removing all HDMI connections and the other cables other than the power cable, just to make sure there's no other devices controlling your TV. And also, Try plugging your TV directly into a wall socket rather than through a surge protector or smart plug. Because if these are not providing the if these are not providing a sufficient voltage because they're faulty, then that can be the cause of your uh, black screen on your TV. But if you've done all of that and you've still got a black screen on your TV, then we need to move into the hardware fixes. So first of all, just do the flashlight test to give us a bit more information about the cause of your black screen and that will make it much easier to fix when we get your TV opened up. So plug your TV in and switch it on, power it up as best you can and then wait for 30 seconds or so, try and bring up the on-screen menu using the remote or plug in uh, an aerial so you're getting a signal on your TV and even if your TV just doesn't appear to be doing anything just go through all these steps and then get a flashlight or the light on your phone and hold it at an angle up close on your TV screen and see if you can see any faint images on your TV. If you can see faint images, then that means you most likely have a backlight failure. If you can't see any faint images, but the backlight is powering up, so the screen appears to be glowing, but it's just a black screen with no signal getting through, then you probably have either a mainboard or a TCON failure. And if you have no response at all from your TV, then you probably have a power board failure. So with that information, we can now open up your TV. So first of all, just unplug it, hold down the power button for 15 seconds again, wait for 30 minutes or so just to make sure there's no power left inside your TV because you don't want to get any shocks when you open it up and then put it face down on a soft surface, undo all the screws around the back panel. There may be some hidden screws if the back panel doesn't come off easily, so just check for those. There may also be a few plastic catches that you need to jimmy off with a flathead screwdriver. And then your back, your back panel will just come straight off. There might be some chassis components protecting the boards in your TV and, and tape holding cables in place. So you'll need to take all of that off. It's a good idea when you're undoing all of these screws just to keep all of the screws of the same type together. Maybe put them in a little plastic bag and mark on them where they've come from so that you can easily put all these screws back in again when you come to putting your TV back together. Once you've exposed these three boards within your TV, then we can have a look at troubleshooting and fixing it. So to go over these boards, you've got the main board, which is where your HDMI and other cables plug in. And this is the logic and the brains for your TV. And this sends a signal down a cable to the TCON. 
which then translates that signal into something the panel can use and sends it to the panel down the two LVDS ribbon cables. Both of these boards are then plugged into the power board, which is where your power cable plugs in, and this provides the voltages and the power for all of the internal components of a TV and for the backlights through two cables that will be going through the chassis of your TV to the backlights behind the screen. Now, if you saw faint images when you did the flashlight test earlier, then you most likely have a backlight failure, but you could also have a problem with the power board. So just to rule that out, have a look at the power board and look for any signs of burning or any bulging capacitors or damage to any components. Try removing all of the cables from the power board and just confirming that there's no damage or dirt or grime in the cables, particularly in the two cables going to the backlight. If you want to be extra thorough, then you can use a multimeter just to confirm that the components are working on your power board and that the connectors are, uh, are delivering the correct voltages, though you will have to have your TV plugged in and switched on for this. Um, and it can be a little dangerous, so only do this if you're really comfortable handling those voltages. But if your power board looks fine, then it probably is fine. And the, the issue is almost certainly with your backlights themselves. So you have to remove all of the boards and then remove the remaining chassis to get at the backlights, which will be underneath the screen. There's likely to be a few more screws and plenty of little plastic catches that you need to jimmy open to get the chassis up, to open the chassis. The screen itself is very thin and fragile, so when you remove it, make sure you distribute the weight evenly and put it on something soft, you don't want to crack it. All of the cables for the boards should come out easily with them um, just by squeezing them. The cables connecting the T-con to the panel just have a little catch that you need to, to flick up to release the cables. Once you've got the panel removed, then you can remove all the diffuser sheets covering the backlight, and you'll then have access to the backlights themselves. You can test the backlights to see if they're working using a TV backlight tester or a multimeter, or by plugging your TV in and seeing if they light up. Or you can just use a standard household battery, connect um, a piece of wire to each terminal, and then complete the circuit by putting the pieces of wire on each side of each LED and seeing if each individual LED lights up when powered by the battery. If the LEDs are not lighting up, which is most likely what's happening here, then you just need to replace all of the strips of LEDs. So you can go onto eBay, look at your TV's model number and get a new set of strips for probably about $30 and then just put in the new set of strips, put your TV back together again and it'll be good to go. If when you did the flashlight test earlier, you did not see any faint images on your screen, or if you saw the backlight lighting up, but there was no picture at all, then the problem is probably with your main board or your T-con. To confirm where the problem lies, you can use a multimeter just to check all of the, the cable connectors and the components. A quick way to do it though, is just to disconnect one of the two ribbon cables going from the T-con to the panel and then switching your TV on. And if the T-con is working, you should have picture on half of the screen. You can then try switching over which cable is connected and see if you have picture on the other half of the screen. If you have any picture at all when you're doing this test, but you don't have any picture when both T-con cables are connected, then the fault is almost certainly with the T-Con itself and with one of the clock signals on the T-Con board. It is potentially possible to fix this, but it's usually easy enough just, it's usually easier just to replace the entire T-Con, so it doesn't cost much if you go onto eBay and have a look for a replacement. 
if you don't see any picture at all with either of the TCON cables connected and you see no change, but you know that the TV is powering up and it's getting power, then the fault is almost certainly with the main board, but you'll need a, a multimeter to confirm this. So to recap, if you try power cycling your TV and you've still got a black screen, then try the flashlight test. If you see faint images when you're trying the flashlight test, then you almost certainly have a backlight failure. If your backlight is powering up though, or if you're not seeing any signal on the screen, so you've just got a black screen because there's no picture getting to it, then you either have a main board or a TCON failure. And if you've got no response at all from your TV, so no LEDs on the front lighting up, there's no sign that you're getting power, then try replacing the power board. And there's more videos on how to troubleshoot your LG TV on the rest of this channel.